soundtrack. We spend a lot of time here at Voice Essentials discussing our biological instrument, the voice. And while the human voice is a primary concern for contemporary singers, today's performer also needs to consider other tools of the trade and how they can enhance the voice and their performance. For example, many singers use microphones, but all too often those microphones are used poorly and even when the singer does use the mic correctly, the foldback speaker is either set up wrongly or is absent altogether. A foldback speaker, sometimes called a foldback wedge or a floor monitor, typically sits on the floor in front of the singer, angling the sound back at the singer so they can hear their voice in the overall mix of sound. While discussing foldback systems, William Gibson writes, a good monitor mix for all musicians is not optional. It's a must. If they hear what they need, their performances will be more musical, better in tune and much more together with the rest of the musicians. So where possible, especially when performing, always ask for a dedicated foldback speaker. Secondly, learn what to ask for in the mix. It's personal preference, but I like my voice to be prominent in uh, the prominent instrument in my foldback, followed by the instrument that is driving the melody, generally a piano or a guitar. And finally, I always find it helpful to ask for my vocals to have some reverb in the monitor mix. This just makes my singing that little bit easier. A good monitor mix through your foldback speaker is often a luxury, but if you learn to ask for specific things in your foldback speaker, your performance will become all the more enjoyable for you and your audience. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well. <laughs>